Hey everyone and welcome back to another video from Inside Wire. In this video, I'm going to cover 11 things you can do to upgrade your security on your home or business network. Now some of these may be applicable to you and some may not. However, I will take you through some of the ones I think are important. Just before we get started, hit that subscribe button and I will follow on this video with some more information around network security and how to configure it. Right. So step one, when your router arrives from your internet service provider, be sure to change your default username and password to log into the router itself. The reason I say this is because so many routers get shipped out from your ISP with the same username and password. This makes it a very big security risk. Also, be sure to remember what you set it to, otherwise you'll find yourself resetting your whole router because you can't log in. Step number two, Along with changing your username and password, be sure to change the name of your Wi-Fi itself. This is the SSID. This helps if programs are built to scan for standard SSIDs. This is not to say your Wi-Fi name cannot be found, but it's just more of a preventative measure. Step three, keep a long, unique password for your network. Be sure to make it very long and very complex. So include numbers, special characters, uppercase and lowercase. Step four, check your Wi-Fi encryption security mode. Now I feel that this could be a video in itself talking about all the different types of encryption. However, the common ones that you'll see on most routers from your ISP are WEP, WPA and WPA2. And even these three categories break down even further, but I'm not gonna go into it into more detail. If you do wanna see more about it though, let me know in the comments below. The one thing I will say, is to make sure you're using the most secure, which would be WPA2 or WPA2 AES. Step five, create a Wi-Fi network for your guests. Now you may think, what's the point of this? However, a scenario may occur where you have someone connected to your home network. They then go off to a local coffee shop and have some sensitive information taken from their laptop, like your Wi-Fi details. Then this will be exposing your network and they have your SSID and password to get straight onto it. However unlikely this may sound, it probably has happened to someone. Step six, avoid making all of your services public. Now we all like to have bits at home that we would like to access at just a click of a button. And if you do, that's great. Just be sure to have the relevant security on the products so it's secure for when you access it. That being said, there's always a more secure way to do things. What you could do is create a personal VPN to your home network and access everything you need through there. That way, you know your traffic is encrypted. I have another video on this on how to create your own personal VPN on Unify Network, so I'll pop a link in the description below. Step seven, turn off your SSID. Now, this one I'm not too sure about as any malicious scanning software would pick up your network straight away. But that being said, some people might feel that if their SSID isn't shown, they're less prone to be attacked. Step eight, keep your software on your devices up to date. There are loads and loads of new ways to get into networks and companies are releasing software updates to patch against this. I'm sure there are many people who got their Wi-Fi router from their ISP and have plugged it in or had it set up for them and never done anything with it. That being said, I'm sure there are companies who automatically update their modems when required, but it's best to have a look and check this out. Step nine, see if your modem has a firewall. Some do and some don't. Most likely nowadays, most of them do, and it's likely that the firewall is on. The firewall is there to prevent against intrusions on your network. So be sure to check it and make sure it is turned on. Specifically for businesses, if you don't have a firewall in place, you want to look at one as soon as possible. Step 10, change your default network range. Now this is not necessary, but a lot of networks I've come across have an internal address of 192.168.1. something or .0. something. Now for me, I always change this on any network I come across using something that is not normally used. Again, this is probably a whole topic in itself around network ranges, a public range versus a private range. Maybe another discussion for another video if you are interested. And finally, step 11. 
Now this one I'm seeing become more common as we have more and more IoT devices on our network. Now these require to be constantly talking to the outside world and there is no way to know what information they are sending out from your network. So it's best to keep these on a completely separate network from the rest of your traffic. Be sure to sub as I will be doing a video on this very soon and if you are watching this once I've already recorded it there'll be a link popping up on the screen. So that is my list of 11 things to make your network more secure. These are not the only things out there that can be done to secure your network. Drop me a comment below and let me know what you do on your network to make yourself secure. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it, let me know so I can create more like this. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.